Despite having only an elementary school education, Garrett Morgan, the son of an enslaved parent, made several significant contributions as an inventor, including an improved sewing machine and a gas mask. One of his most influential inventions was the improved traffic light. In the 1920s, Morgan developed one of the first three light systems, leading to the widespread adoption of the traffic lights we use today. Buoyed by the success of his other inventions, Morgan bought a car. Then as a motorist, he witnessed a severe car accident at an intersection in Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio. This incident inspired him to enhance the existing traffic light by adding a yield component to warn oncoming drivers of an impending stop. He patented this creation in 1923, and the patent was granted the following year. Garrett was deeply troubled by frequent reports of people dying in fire accidents, as no one dared to enter a blazing inferno to rescue those trapped inside buildings or mines. After contemplating the issue, he found that cleaner, breathable air could be found closer to the ground, where smoke had not fully consumed the atmosphere. With this insight, he invented a gas mask that allowed the wearer to inhale air from near the ground and exhale it through the top of the book. The mask featured a ball system that prevented smoky air from entering while the used air was expelled. Upon completing his invention in 1916, Garrett contacted all the local fire stations, but no one was interested. Determined, he took matters into his own hands, going to the site of a fire incident where a collapsed tunnel construction had trapped people under the rubble. Wearing his mask, he entered the dangerous area. To everyone's astonishment, he emerged alive, carrying one of the survivors. He managed to rescue three survivors before the fire became too intense. His bravery and the effectiveness of his invention earned him the contract to supply gas masks to fire stations across the United States.